So the most powerful and the most life-changing tool on the internet, ChatGPT, has a feature called ChatGPT+. But if you've Googled this or looked into it at all, you might realize that their own website, OpenAI's website, doesn't really say much about what ChatGPT Plus is, what it does, or really even how much it costs. And this might lead you to wonder, what is this new feature? What does it offer? And is it worth upgrading from the regular ChatGPT? Well, I actually tried it out, and in this video, I'll be showing you just that, exactly what is ChatGPT Plus, is it worth it, how much does it cost, and any other questions you might have about this incredible new feature. So starting off, ChatGPT pretty much broke the internet. This free open AI tool that gives anybody access to artificial intelligence in the form of a chatbot just really blew everybody's mind. The ability to ask it all types of questions and have it do tasks that really seemed like a quantum leap in human development. And after it's really been catching on, eventually you might have noticed that when you try to log on and use it, you're faced with an error like this. Sometimes ChatGPT says they are at capacity and the only way for you to use it is if you sign up for a waitlist and then upgrade to ChatGPT+. Or of course you could wait longer and, and maybe check in an hour or two hours and, and maybe you'll be able to get on then, but as you can imagine, as more and more people start using ChatGPT, it's only inevitable that it's going to be harder and harder to access it during busy times, which again leads you to wonder, what is this ChatGPT Plus they're plugging? Well, if you click on it, they add you to a waitlist. Now that's an unfortunate way to do things because if you're actually in the ChatGPT interface, if you're able to chat, you don't have to wait for a waitlist at all. In fact, you can just sign up right on the spot. So if we go to, on my laptop right here, if we go to chat.openai.com, it'll take you to ChatGPT. We can log in. So if you're lucky and it's not too busy, you'll end up on this screen right here, the ChatGPT interface. But on the top, as you notice when I first logged on there, it actually said demand was high right now and response times are slower. But on the bottom left, you can't miss something that they're trying to push right here, it's ChatGPT+. And if you click on it, you get the answer to your first question of how much does this actually cost? ChatGPT+, is selling for $20 per month as a subscription, and with that, you're getting three main things. The first thing, as you can see right here, is availability even when demand is high. That's kind of the assumed one that we talked about before, that when you log on, even if there's a lot of people also using ChatGPT, you will be able to use it. So that's a big positive. The second thing is faster response speed. Now, from my experience, I didn't really notice especially faster responses. Every now and then, when you're using ChatGPT, uh, there is the option, like sometimes it takes a little bit, like an extra beat to answer your question. So maybe there's less of those instances. But again, from my experience, the regular free plan didn't really have too much of that anyway. But the third thing is priority access to new features, which again, may seem kind of vague, but we have that as of very recently. I believe just yesterday, ChatGPT launched their new version, which is version four. This right here is version three and a half. So I actually have that on a different account. If we switch over to that, you'll see this is ChatGPT+. Now, the ChatGPT Plus interface looks very similar, except in the background, it doesn't have the same thing we saw before, whereas like introduction to ChatGPT, Instead, it just says ChatGPT+. In addition to that, on the top, you'll see we have a drop-down menu. The drop-down menu allows you to choose which version of ChatGPT you're actually using. So right now, like I said, ChatGPT 3.5 is the basic one everybody has been using, but now they have ChatGPT 4. And you can tell it tells you a little bit more about the differences between them. So 3.5 is faster, uh, but it's a little bit less concise and it's a little bit less in, strong in the reasoning aspect, whereas 4 is much slower, but much better reasoning and much more concise. So if we go over to 4, you'll see there is a limitation here. We have 100 messages every four hours, which is unfortunate. So there's really three main differences with ChatGPT4, and I will make a full video outlining how to use it and what the differences really are, but kind of summarizing right here, if you have ChatGPT+, you'll have access to ChatGPT4, fourth generation, and with that, the three things you get are the ability to input images, so you can have visual input now, and you can you can use a photo and say, like, what is in here, or what happens if, if like, that happens. Like, uh, I think one example was, like, the house from up with a bunch of balloons above it, and somebody said, what happens if you cut the strings? And it, it knows, and it can say, the balloons will float away, and, and the house will stay put. In addition, you can have larger context as well. So ChatGPT4, according to their website, is capable of handling over 25,000 words of text, uh, which allows for use cases like long-form context creation, extended conversations, 
document search and analysis, among other things like that. And then the third thing is creativity. According to OpenAI, ChatGPT4 is more creative and more collaborative. Uh, it can generate and edit and illustrate with users on creative and technical writing tasks, such as composing songs, writing screenplays, or learning a user's writing style. And with that, they actually showed, and I thought this was really interesting, they showed the scores of ChatGPT 3.5 and ChatGPT 4 uh, on some AP exams, which is in, in the United States as a common uh, like end of high school exam people might take to get college credits. Uh, this stands for advanced placement, so they'll have like physics and, and art and, and literature and different things. And ChatGPT4 scored substantially higher in many of those categories. So that's a summary of what ChatGPT Plus is. Is it actually worth it? Well, I think it really the big benefit is the access to ChatGPT during busy times or if you really need to process images. So right now, I think for a lot of people, it's probably not worth it because there aren't quite too many users most of the time. But if you use it a lot at work or if you otherwise just find yourself really needing the new features on ChatGPT4, which I recommend watching my next video uh, before making that decision, then maybe ChatGPT Plus is worth it for you. $20 per month, considering the power of this tool set, really makes a lot of sense, but considering you can get it for free for you know just waiting an extra hour, I don't know, it depends on your budget. But leave a comment below and let me know what you think about ChatGPT Plus and GPT-4. So if you wanna learn more about ChatGPT-4, click right here. And if you want a full tutorial on how to become a power user with ChatGPT, even the free version, click right here. I'm Michael Bryan with Santrell Media. Thanks for watching and I'll see you over there.